एवरीवन माय नेम इज साक्षी कुशवाहा एंड वेलकम बैक टू येट अनदर वीडियो ऑन मशीन लर्निंग एंड डीप लर्निंग ट्यूटोरियल्स सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू डिफाइन फीचर्स एंड टारगेट्स टू आवर डेटा सेट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू स्प्लिट आवर डेटा सेट इनटू ट्रेन डेटा एंड टेस्ट डेटा ओके या सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी आर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू डिफाइन टारगेट एंड फीचर्स Uh, target means labels also. So uh, for defining uh, target and feature, we first define df dot column. It is not necessary, but we define it for uh, avoiding the spelling mistake. Okay. Here I take uh, some example, and here you write uh, the y is a target. So it is a one D data set. You write just uh, just provide the attribute name here. Okay. Just uh, provide the attribute name here. Survived. and uh, for defining features means x you can uh, you can use 2d data set so you can use two uh, two square brackets and for checking the shape of these uh, like what is the shape of our target and what is the shape of our features you can just write y dot shape and you can just write x dot shape okay so uh, as you know y is a uh, 1d data set so you can just uh, you have just a single value Uh, that the, the number of rows and here uh, you can get two values okay so in the next video we are going to discuss uh, train test split so how you can split your data okay so like uh, here is a uh, diagram you can visualize from this like mm, yeah so the first step is you have a full data set okay you have a full data set you can read uh, you can read the data and you can check the data from these functions head info describe okay then uh, you have to the second step you have to you can uh, just define what are the features and what are the target okay so the features you uh, for the features you do, you have uh, you want a 2d data set okay so two square brackets are needed and uh, for uh, target you have only one uh, you it is like a one d array so it is like a series so yeah you can use this function uh, data set dot columns and you get, you got all the attributes of that data set so the features are in the this format and the target is in this format okay and then we perform the train test split means you are going to split our data set into two forms the training data and testing data so uh, there is some points like it consist of random sampling and uh, th this is a function okay train test split is a function in build function uh, in uh, sql and library okay we are going to discuss here so uh, yeah it consist of random sampling and it splits into uh, training and test data set so when you, you apply this training and test uh, train test and split function it uh, it splits our data into two parts like x train and y train so this is a training data set and this is a testing data set okay so the third step you perform so what is the first step uh, you have a full data set you, you have to read the data set okay then uh, you you have to visualize the data set using these functions head info and describe and the second step is you have to define the features and target and the third step is you have to apply this function train test and split and then the fourth step is making the ml model okay so it is it, the train data set is used for training and test data set is for testing okay so yeah so how you perform splitting so there is a library uh, named scikit learn okay so you have to just write this name from sklearn dot module name import function means uh, here you provide the name of your module means it is a library and i already told you that uh, a library is uh, consist of lot of modules it is a collection of modules okay so from sklearn from the sklearn library import this mod, uh, from the sklearn library and from this module name there are lot of modules so from this module import this function okay so it is just like a library like uh, you are going to the library so from library from the rack number 1 from the rack number 1 take the book uh, book uh, book 2 okay 
so this is like this from library and uh, rack number one take book two okay so, yeah you can use this library for tasks such as classification clustering and regression so uh, scikit learn is a probably the most useful library for machine learning in python the sk learn library contains a lot of uh, yeah uh, sklearn library contains lot of efficient tools for machine learning uh, and statistical uh, model modeling include classification regression clustering and dimensionality reduction okay so sklearn is used for used to build machine learning models it should have uh, it should not used for reading the data manipulating and summarizing it the better there are better libraries for reading the data and all numpy and pandas it means uh, sklearn is used for build the machine learning models it is not used for reading the data for reading the data we use pandas and numpy libraries okay so sklearn is a library and model selection is a uh, module name okay so model selection is a module name and uh, import train test and split okay so coming to our uh, yeah coming to our code like in the previous video we have discussed uh, like uh, firstly we are uh, import the library second is a read the data set and third is a define target and features and if you want to check the shape of these target like you you only just write you have to just write target sorry for the spelling uh, target dot shape and features dot shape okay features dot shape okay so it contains only thousand rows and thousand rows and only a single column and it contains thousand rows and 24 columns okay so now the fourth step is uh, splitting the data okay so just write step 4 splitting the data data into train train data and testing data testing data okay so into training data and testing data so for uh, for splitting dates you have to just write uh, you be use sklearn library you have to just write from sklearn dot model selection uh, like here it is mentioned sklearn dot model selection import train test split function okay so you have to just write model selection import train test split okay so as i already told you from the library from the library and the rack number one import the book two okay so it is a book name it is a rack name and it is a library name sorry guys for the interrupt so we are we successfully import this function and for splitting this you have to just write uh, like here we define features and targets so just take x for the short name like x dot x train comma x uh, yeah x test you know, uh, just define yeah y train and x test and y test okay just write train test split okay and here you uh, here what are the parameters you provide like here uh, yeah you provide test uh, yeah support firstly you provide the uh, features f e uh, use features what is the spelling of features uh, yeah this is a spelling so you provide here are the features and the target okay so let's uh, write it for our easiness y and x just for our easiness okay
so as here you see you see this x train x test y test and y train okay so you, you can just easily write train test split and by default it splits 75 percent to the training data and 35 percent to the testing data okay yeah yeah so you have to just write here x and y okay and yeah here you write x train then here you have to write x test for making it better y train okay? yeah so you have to just provide two features name if you only provide this it works fine it splits your data okay like you, whenever you want to check the shape like x dot train what is the shape of x dot train yeah x dot train dot shape okay so it just work fine like there are total uh, here there are total uh, thousand rows and 24 columns then uh, it it splits into seven, 750 rows contains x train data so a uh, training data have 750 rows and what uh, what are the number of rows of testing data like x test dot shape yeah 250 rows so by default it splits into 75 percent and 20 percent if you want to define if you want to give a uh, more uh, more percentage into the test set so you have to just write test size test size is equal to uh, suppose i write 30 30 uh, or you write in the probability form 0 0.3 okay and also you have to provide like here it is writing train size or you are providing test size uh, whatever you want and here you provide random state why you provide random state i am going to tell you because uh, it shuffled the data okay uh, suppose like i am choosing any number like i i choose 9598 okay so i choose any number so why we give the random state if it works fine for by giving uh, only this x and y so we choose random state because suppose we have a data and uh, upper 10 rows contains the data which have uh, which have which contain the page only patient who are the low chances of cancer and the either uh, other 10 contains the higher higher cases of chance uh, higher cases so then if you split the data then the first 10 rows which contains the train uh, training data uh, contains only those uh, data which have only uh, low chances and the testing data which have uh, only patient which have a uh, higher chances okay so this make a conflict and the, the model uh, the model you train is only for the low chances of the uh, cancer prediction and the for testing you provide the higher chances so it is not good model and it does not uh, gives you appropriate result so that's why we provide random state for um, shuffling the data so it shuffled the data and uh, mix the data okay so uh, when uh, then uh, you run this line and then again here you provide the test size so it uh, it contains 30 70 and 30 percent okay so firstly it is 75 percent then yeah it we have thousand rows then uh, the train size have 700 rows and our test size have uh, obviously 300 rows okay so now you can uh, now you know how to split data how to split training and testing data you have to just write x train and x test y train and y test okay so yeah from SQLN library so SQLN is very important library and it also contains a lot of modules and a lot of functions so uh, now you see how easy the splitting of data how easy the splitness of data you uh, firstly think uh, what is a typical how you can uh, how you can uh, split the, the lot of data this huge data but now you see we have in build function we just write here train test split and that uh, splitting is done automatically okay 
so yeah these are our pdfs yeah so if you want to define size by testing training manually then you can write just train size uh, here we use test size like here we use test size if you want to define train size then you only give train size and yeah here we want random sample so this function gives uh, functionality okay so whatever i explained you the only thing uh, right in this pdf every time we run the course code this function gives the different training set every time okay means uh, suppose you run a uh, code multiple times and this function gives a different training and testing set okay so uh, for by differing the training and testing set the accuracy also differs so suppose you train uh, suppose you uh, train our data from a single data set and the accuracy comes to 98 percent and suppose you uh, you want to uh, you want to give the code to your friend and if he uh, run, he he again run the code and he contains the different data, different training set so uh, he have a different accuracy okay so it creates conflict so that's why uh, we use this we use this random state okay yeah so till then take care bye bye and give your best Thank you.